Interesting thing today. Uh, I seen a comment relating to most of the guys going to the West. Uh, sorry, going to Asia and getting married are from failed relationships. Um, I would say that's a very, very good observation because the majority of guys are over 35. So yes, they've all been in relationships. But I will say that in the West, over 50% of relationships are unhappy or uh, ending divorce. So the reality is the guys going East have quite simply had enough. Um, I know several guys that have lost everything um, due to divorce. Um, and when you, even if they were bad husbands, which they're not, you look at it and you just go, that's unfair. You know, it is unfair. Because you go, oh yeah, but she, the woman's got the kids. Yeah, she took the kids. Because she knew that then guarantees the house and everything else. But I also know people that have had to pay, play the child support agency, even when the kids live with them. Because they say, well, they live, it lives with his mother about two days a week. Yeah, but that's because that's her visitation, right? Why do I have to pay the mother for my child to live in their ha her house for two days when this is the, their actual home? Because it doesn't work the other way around, you see. She's not, the, the ex isn't paying for the money while the child is living with their father, but they want it the other way around. Equality. That's the biggest problem in the West, equality, because it is manipulated beyond belief. And I think this is where I don't actually blame the women for a lot of this stuff, specific women, not all women, but I do blame <coughs> the PC brigade for making such a mockery of it, because this, the law was designed to protect women. It's been developed around that for protecting women and children. This is why a lot of the stuff exists. Um, then you have things like the, I think it's Relate and that sort of stuff, the mediation groups. But a lot of them are manipulated around getting money off the father. What I mean is when they ask you to fill in a form uh, for setting up a mediation meeting, they'll ask you for your bank details and stuff like that. Because they're, they're set up by the government. And what's the government want? Money. So the first thing they're into is your bank account. That's the bit they care about. They don't want the government having liabilities. So in fact those mediation things are not for the benefit of the couple, it's for the benefit of the state. So there's an example. The, the actual government, the first thing they're seeing, failed relationship, we don't want to pay for it, get the, get, get the guy's cash. It's as simple as that. Can't, can't say it any more simple than that. So even when things start to fail, the recovery mechanism is not there. Um, now, I was reading some statistics from somebody who wrote it, and he obviously lacks the ability to have a relationship with the stuff he came out with. Because um, what he was saying is, the income if you earned over $50,000 a year, you've got a 30% more chance of your relationship surviving. I would have to disagree on that, because he didn't actually say who had to earn the 50000 or was it both of them, between them, whatever. So that statistic becomes useless. Um, but I would say the more money you make, the, the chance of divorce may decline because you have more spending power, which means when somebody has more money, the partner can have more time to do whatever they want. Um, it's like an ex-partner of mine likes horses, so horse riding suited her. Um, so when, when they have something to concentrate on outside of the home, which is a normal, thing, the chance of survival increase, naturally. But this is the thing. In the UK, and I can only take from the UK, you can fill in this from the US and elsewhere, both parents have to work. But, so both, both halves of the, the couple have to work. So this means that if they're both working and can't do hobbies and what have you, there's extra pressure on the marriage. That's a t statistic, not in this guy's list, but that's the reality. It's nothing to do with about the $50,000, it's where it's being spent. And the reality is, <clears throat> if you can actually have some free time to do stuff, your chance of survival will increase, naturally. Um, but then you move on to other things like marrying over 25. 
as I said earlier, most of these people are over 35. When they get married, they will, well, go to the Philippines who are over 35, already been through a relationship. That's true. So if they actually got in a relationship over 25, the chances of survival increase by 24%. I would actually say that statistic's pretty close because you're a bit more grown up. You've already been through a couple of bad relationships by then. You've also started to understand where you want to be in life because when you first leave school, you're going, what do I want to do? Where can I get a job? What, what options do I have? So from that point of view, once you hit 25, a lot of those problems should have already been resolved. Because at a younger age, you may have a partner going, he doesn't even know what he wants to do these days. He doesn't have a job, blah, blah, blah. Instead of trying to build you up, pulling you down. So the chances of failure increase. Um, religion's another interesting one. Because religion, I think if you're actually within a church or whatever it is, um, because it's a group there is often a support mechanism within the group if there's problems within a marriage. I know a friend of mine, um, he's very, very religious and his wife is, um, but they had some severe problems in their relationship. But they have their church group on a Wednesday and they go on a Sunday. and It's the one thing that actually keeps them together. Um, I will actually say that you don't want to be in the same room as both of them at the same time. <laughs> because they are not getting on but at the same time they're trying and I think religion at least brings that in the other side of this being is that it's very easy to get divorced in the West in the Philippines it's illegal in many other countries it's illegal or just doesn't even get a second thought um, people marry for life in the West it's often Quite easy to just get the paperwork drawn up by a lawyer, push it in, and it's done. It's a couple of signatures. And then they start ripping everything apart for the assets. But the in other countries, a lot of that, they just don't even entertain divorce. They don't see it as being uh, something that should happen. Now, I think that that's where there's been a big shift in religion in the West, because a lot of that sort of stuff has sort of changed the way things are. Because you've got to bear in mind, before, say, the 19, 1940s, before that, divorce was frowned upon. It was also a... Um, I think it was quite expensive back then. It was not something everybody did. I know in the UK, it's normally very wealthy people could afford to get divorced. Um, so the reality is, people couldn't afford it. It was also shunned. It was also not the right thing to do. In today's society, people don't get on, they separate. Now, from my perspective, a lot of it is that there's too much external influence on relationships. There's not enough people actually sit down and go, what's making our relationship work and what, why is it failing? Because my own view is that people need to sit and analyze if the relationship is going to work long term or, and if it does what do both people want out of it a lot of people don't sit down and do that sort of stuff me and the, the wife the kids are all happy in my previous relationship it, i mean I, i've had two long-term relationships um prior to my marriage um but the the last one was just a case of it just didn't work the one prior to that the my ex was completely nuts I can admit that, and it's not me being vindictive or evil. Um, she is. She is off this wall. <laughs> I, could, I, I mean, I don't. The thing I don't really talk about too much about my own relationships, but the the reality is, it was after I left her that people started coming forward and saying, "I don't know why you were with her and all that sort of stuff." Um, but that is the reality of life. So. Are most of these guys going to Asia um, divorced? Of course they are. A lot of them have just had enough of the way the West is. They're looking for a traditional marriage. A traditional marriage is nothing to do with being a dominant male or anything else. It's to actually have a family structure and a society structure that works. It's as simple as that. It doesn't get any more complicated. The problem is the West assumes it's got everything right. It hasn't. It's nowhere near correct. Because its equality system is not equal. 
when you have to adapt the entire system for a minority that then take, becomes the majority then it is not a fair system an example of that is going to a large supermarket car park where if you're a single guy or woman when you park you end up bloody miles away because you've got the parent and child parking you've got the disabled parking you've got everything else you're um, up in the uh, up in the gods because this they've made so many spaces for these other groups that you're no longer important yet you probably make up the majority of customers okay families do spend more but then the they do they really need a family parking space come on it's a parking space <laughs> disabled parking no issue with but I do think some of the areas have gone out of control I do not know what the percentages are in multi-story car parks these days but when they get two floors and then you drive them through and going there's only 10 cars on one floor what is going on that that sp space is not being used and I've got to park on the roof because all the other places are full but there is a floor and a half empty because a lot of this stuff is worked out percentages I know that from what I do I do, do surveying etc on buildings so it'll be a legislation thing but the reality is if they do not need that many spaces do they really need to have them you know if you actually took it down from what's that about 40 spaces or more say 60 spaces and took it down to 20 would that really create a crisis I don't think so because they didn't even fill the 20 but that is Western society so the answer to your question is yes I know most of the guys are West it's not from the West and it's, uh, it's right going oh the, the another guy with another failed relation if they were in it happily married they wouldn't be going to the West uh, East because they would still be married Look at your own argument first. Thanks for watching.